Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Perone, Michigan Golfer TV. I'm here with one of our favorite people, Cynthia Prickard, Pinkard, excuse me, and she is involved with so many organizations, I forget what they are, so you're going to tell us. Hi, Phyllis, thank you. Uh, sometimes it really is hard to keep up. Um, I became president of the Michigan Women's Golf Association just this past fall. Um, I have been president of the Women's Metropolitan Golf Association for the, this is my second year. And I just signed on to the GAM as the new Gen Services Associate in a full-time position starting this past Monday. Wow, so that's interesting, uh, Cynthia, because there have been a lot of changes with the handicap system. So just tell our viewers, what does Gen mean? Gen is the Golf Handicap International Network, I believe that's correct. <laughs> uh, but it is the handicap system for uh, primarily in the, for the United States, one of the primary uh, sources for handicapping. And the people can sign up to GAM so they can establish a handicap, correct? Yes, they can. Uh, GAM is um, the local service provider for handicaps and all of its member clubs, all the members of the uh, in, in the state of Michigan can go through GAM to get a GIN, a USGA GIN index. But they can also go to the GAM website and sign up and, and get their card, their GAM card, correct? That's exactly correct. Uh, GAM offers that, offers that service as well as others. Um, GAM also does the course ratings for the state as well as the handicap system, yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the Michigan Women's Golf Association how women get involved and how they get to play in different tournaments? Well, the Michigan Women's Golf Association has been around since 1986. And it was started to help uh, women of really a fairly good, decent skill level to participate and get invited to play some premier golf. Over the years, we've become, we've expanded to include all women who are interested in the game, regardless of skill level, and um, got 200 members that not only golf, but they're interested. It's, it's a great golf association, but our women like playing by the rules. They, they want handicaps. They make friends for life. Um, in addition to, to that, they like to get involved in other things, and our girls' golf program is one of those things. Uh, we do support young girls, age 7 to 17, to help develop them into better golfers and hopefully help do some character building as part of as part of golf. And you also have a website for that and women can join up on your website, correct? That is correct. Um, there is a link, uh, mwgolf.org, directly to the website for the Michigan Women's Golf Association. Now, do you have any specific tournaments or any things that are new for this year, Cynthia, that you can think of? or? something that might be a little bit different than you've had in the past? Well, we have some very nice courses on the schedule for this year. We're running nine tournaments. Uh, we've added a staple for, for the first time, I think, we've played in about 20 years. And we're doing that this year as well as the Chapman, which is like an alternate shot, but a little different. And, of course, then there's this, this, the normal venue, of course, is, uh, of courses and tournaments. Uh, which include like stroke plays and four balls. It's really good. So, and women of any age can join your organization, right? Generally, it's 17 and over. Uh, we do support, like I said, the girls' golf program, but it's kind of difficult for the, the younger players to kind of keep up with our group. We pr we do play uh, primarily during the summer on weekends, primarily a couple of Mondays, but yes. So when does your season officially start? Our first official competition is May 11th, and that's going to be in Ann Arbor at Lake Forest. And um, in addition to the competitions, we also do things like rules clinics, skill clinics, uh, spring trips, 
other social events that like to keep our women uh, bonding together and enjoying primarily golf together. And uh, it's worked really well over the years. I think it's a great networking opportunity. And Cynthia, you've done an excellent job and you're involved with so many things that we, we always uh, are excited to talk to you about those things. And we're glad that you came and talked to us today. Thank you, Phyllis. I really appreciate your time. And uh, I really just love the game and what we do and what we can give back. So I'm excited about all those things I do. So go women and go golf. Thank you. <laughs>